Okay, we're going to set up the Microsoft Authenticator to secure our Office 365 and to avoid having to do text message verifications and things like that. The Authenticator will, be the, will become the primary method of verifying your sign-in, but you will still be able to fall back to a text message in the event that you change phones or whatever you, you happens there. All right, so we're going to go to the URL on the link that you've been sent or click on uh, your profile and choose my account from the top right corner of your Office 365 login. That will bring the following screen up and you can see I've highlighted here the security and privacy section. We're just going to click on that next and then we'll see what to do. Okay, so clicking security and privacy brings us to the additional security verification area, which is where we get to set up um, third party or alternate methods of authentication, such as text message and phone and stuff like that. So clicking into additional security verification brings us to the area where we can update our phone numbers used for account security. That's also anything to do with our phone. So click where shown. You'll see here any methods of sign-in verification that you may have. In my case, I've already got much of this set up. Uh, I'm adding the Microsoft Authenticator again after first deleting it to create this video. So we're going to click Add Method, and then we're going to choose off the list the Microsoft Authenticator app or the Authenticator app. Microsoft are then going to uh, give you a little bit of a step-by-step -step so you can follow those instructions. It's not you're not totally reliant on this video um, Basically, if you've followed my earlier steps, then you already have the Authenticator app on your device and It's simply matter now a matter of connecting next When you connect the Authenticator app or install it, it may have asked you to use if it can use uh, your camera um, or allow notifications. You need both of these set to on or yes or allowed in order for this to become the seamless easy process that it is. Um, if you've done that and you haven't allowed those then please remove the authenticator and add it again and then just allow those options. Remember if you're at, when you're adding your account it is a work or school account and not a personal account. So click next and let's move on. Now, this is where you need the camera and the app to work together. So you're going to use the camera to scan the QR code that comes up on the screen. Um, I've obviously blurred some of this one out because we don't want you using this one. These are single use. They're generated on demand and obviously the one that I've previously used can't be used for somebody else. Okay, once you've connected it, um, Microsoft are then going to verify that your app and your phone is working in sync with your account. So they're going to send a notification to your phone and ask you to approve it. Um, once you approve it, of course, you'll get this notification approved message and you can click next to move on. At that point, your authenticator is connected to your Office 365 account and can be used to verify your sign in. Of course, Having this Microsoft Authenticator tool verifying your sign-in is very useful. However, we want it to be the default method. Otherwise, you're going to get text messages whenever you need to verify your identity and it's just not as convenient. Um, it still works, but the whole point of this exercise is to get the Microsoft Authenticator to be your default um, sign-in verification tool. So click on change in the, in the red circle and choose the Microsoft Authenticator and click Confirm and you'll be done. Thank you.